Hey everybody, so this is going to be a quick video to show you um, a parameter that is in the uh, levels, uh, the Revit levels. So we're in Revit 2020 and um, if you select, so in this, this model I've only got a few things. So I've got a couple walls you can see um, here. I've got a um, just a simple railing. You can create this. Um, the railing itself is irrelevant. Um, and then down here, uh, I've just got stairs. So I've got a landing right here. And um, even that's irrelevant. What you can do is just, if you're in a section view like this or an elevation, um, or this is an elevation, so you know, if you, you see the levels, copy them, and then just rename one of them called landing. Uh, but ultimately, it's up to you on how you use this parameter. So we've got four levels here. And the idea is that we're going to use a visibility parameter to hide some of these levels. So in this example, I only want to see um, building levels. So I only want to see, you know, level two, the roof, and then the, the level one. I don't want to see landing in this in, in this view. Now, a good way to set this up is to just go ahead and create a filter, maybe um, use a shared parameter, or uh, just set up a project parameter to grab that level. But um, there's really no need because there's already a parameter built in. And so if we grab this landing uh, level, scroll down to the bottom, we can see um, building story. So that's a parameter built into this level. And um, if you may see there's also a structural one. The structural one uh, is for structural levels, so you would identify that with that parameter. Uh, the building story one is just, you know, you can read it here, it just says enable to indicate level as functional building story. When it when it's you know enabled, the level can be used in the story above parameter. Um, really, that's it. It, uh, it there's not much to it. So one thing that you can use it at for is uh, uh, um, you can tie it into a uh, a filter. And so we're going to take a look at that. So what we'll do is press escape. We'll come over here to visibility graphic overrides and the uh, the view properties. Click edit. We'll go over to filters. We'll come down to add. And then um, we have two options here. We have rule based and selection filters. Now we haven't ma manually selected anything and then saved that selection. So what we'll do is do it, it, it as a rule based filter. Now rule based filter is the best because it looks at a parameter when it grabs those elements. We'll come down here and we'll do a new one. And we'll just say um, building. story all right so we have the building story underneath rule based filters and then what we can do is just come over here uh, press the letter L it'll jump you down to levels click on that uh, and now we're good to go uh, we're just going to use it for one element we don't need to add multiple rules here so we'll come in here we'll choose building story and we'll say equals um, yes and then uh, we'll press OK and then OK we'll come down here and we'll add that filter so we have that filter that we can use now we'll add it to this project and we'll essentially just turn off the visibility of it now before we do what I want to do is go in here and make sure that the properties are aligned correctly so We'll check out level one. We can see, okay, this is a building story. Um, this isn't necessarily a building story, so nothing's checked. Level two has the building story parameter checked, and so does the roof. So now what we'll do is go back into visibility gra graphics. Uh, so we'll come over here, click edit, back to filters, and then we'll just turn that visibility off. Um, so you can see everything turned off. So when I went into the vis or the filters, I did something wrong. So what we're going to do is click VV or go back over here to the visibility graphics. And we'll update one thing. So we'll come in here 
Um, or actually, we'll come down here, do edit. Make sure to select uh, that filter. And then we'll just say equals no. And then we'll click OK. And then OK. You can see it flipped. So now we have level one, level two, roof. And then the landing level is gone now. So again, you know, there's not a lot of uses for this other than filters. But um, check it out. Let me know if this helps, if you were confused of, you know, what that parameter was and how to actually use it. Um, so uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.